Um, last thing that guys are going to want to know, how do you sell this to customers? So when most people call, they probably haven't done the research to know that it's even an option. They're expecting you're going to frame their deck out of wood. How do you, how do you bring that conversation forward? And then how do you get them to say like, oh yeah, that's worth, if it is more money, we're spending the money for like, what's, how does that work? Or do you find that they don't care? It's like, if the money's the same, they're like, yeah, do whatever you think's best. Yeah, uh, so that was probably one of the biggest uh, obstacles and learning curves for me personally with the with the steel was how in the heck to sell it to clients. Um, you know, I, I originally started out from the structural builder side with people, and it it just doesn't it didn't work. You know, you go to somebody's house and you, you, know, you talk about, oh, it's so strong and it's so light and it doesn't fit. And, and people, I found that people didn't care. <laughs> they don't give a shit how heavy it is because yeah. they don't have to pick any of it right. up. That's you. Yeah. That's oh, a you right. problem. Oh, it weighs less? How much less is your install then? That's what they would be thinking, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you know, you, you can tell people and... I, I can't tell you how many times I would be sitting there with somebody and like, you know, this, your frame's going to last you for 30 years, no problem. And they would look at you and they'd be like, but it's shiny. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's you like, know, it, it, yeah. And it, it, it became finally, it was like, okay, I can't, I can't sell the construction merits of steel to people. I have to find a, a different Avenue. And that avenue actually came through uh, the selling the aesthetic side. And what I mean by that uh, is that I don't know about up there, but down here and on Facebook and other places, almost inevitably going on a sales call and talking about composite decking, the client at some point in the conversation would go, well, I don't want my decking to sag. I see all these pictures online of composite decking of treks and it sags. And that was finally when like the light went on for me. And it was like, <laughs> yeah. And it was, Oh, well you, you know why your deck sags. It's not the decking. It's that wood frame underneath. Yeah. It's, it's got crowns, it's shrinking, it's swelling and your deck is following the framing underneath. Yeah, and if we go with steel framing, you're going to eliminate that, and the money that you're putting into this product, your decking's going to stay flat and it's going to stay level for as long as you live in your house. And suddenly, yeah. with that switch in the sales tactic or sales pitch, it was like I mean, you could see the light go on for people. And they're like, oh, well, yeah, if I'm going to spend this four bucks a foot for my voyage board. I want that thing to stay flat. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely got to find the features and benefits that are relevant to them and the weight of it and whatever else probably isn't it. They're not working with it. Right. So there's probably right. a number of things that you could use that, you know, the longevity of it, the the true and straightness of it, the fact that it's not going to sag, it's not going to yep. move. That leads me to a question here though. Do you find, so I don't know if you're using a bunch of different brands of composite, if you've pretty much kind of stuck with decorators now, but do you find that your joints on like say a miter or something with steel framing stay truer than on wood framing because like the board's going to expand and contract the same amount but there's no movement in the lumber underneath so do they do you find a difference uh yeah uh, we haven't had i totally believe you the way you room. sold that right there i believe you for sure <laughs> right uh, no we haven't uh... had any any real issues with things pulling apart or shifting um the great thing with the steel especially is the um like the picture frames and the breaker boards yeah that's what i'm referring the to gaps the gaps have stayed really true over time okay okay because of that stable um substructure yeah so the comps is then, still going to do what comps it does but you're not yep. also fighting the lumber shrinking and everything else so it's not right. compounded. Yeah, and I, I think that, I think probably people don't talk about that much when they talk about composite moving all of the time, right? It's just like, well, that's what happens. Composite moves. It's a plastic, but they're, but they're for sure different. not talking about the wood, and that 
is absolutely a factor in that. Part right? of it, yeah. I don't know how much of it is the wood, but some of it, for sure. Yeah. Uh, well, and I think, honestly, uh, one of the big issues or one of the selling points that came around when you were talking about identifying what matters to the customer is with the steel, you know, I you're able to give the customer some sort of warranty on a frame. And, right. you know, there's custom, there's guys out there building $300,000 projects in pressure treated. And because of the nature of wood, they can't warranty that frame or they lose their shirt. Yeah. Yeah. But doesn't it last for 40 years? No problem. Warranty. Like the cabinet maker, cabinet installer told me, <laughs> picked a fight with me on over time. What are you taping that for? It'll last 40 years. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, if you, if you use the right band of, Brand of PL Premium that creates a seal around your brad nail so that the water can't get in. That's right. Yeah. 